Today I got this chart I want to show you right now. So this is something you need to pay attention to if you're holding Bitcoin right now. But not only are we talking about Bitcoin, we're also talking, of course, about Ethereum, Cardano, altcoins in general, and of course, the traditional markets. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to this channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And with that said, let's get straight into Bitcoin here. And uh, what can we say? Well, we went up, we hit the orange line two times here. And since then, we've actually been in a little bit of a downtrend. Now, if you haven't watched my video from yesterday, you need to watch that because the name of the game right now is that we need to get above the $50,000 level. So this whole area, this is extremely important. This has been a significant level previously and again if you watch my video from yesterday you will understand why so are people reacting to this level right now i do believe that they are but so far so good i think that the forty two thousand dollar level is still going to be very very strong so at the very least i think that we could see a you know a slow grind here for a while before we eventually uh, break the $50,000 level, which I be, do believe is going to happen. I don't think that it's going to be as uh, long for a as long period, I should say, as we saw here when we dropped from uh, 42 and you know we went sideways for multiple months here. I don't think that that's going to be the case. I don't think we're going to go sideways for that long. But we could go sideways for a little bit more here. But then I do believe that we are going to break these levels to the upside. I mean, the markets are still looking very bullish to me. And for as long as we hold the $42,000 level, I am not, you know, going to doubt our ability to break the, the previous all time high eventually. So I'm still bullish on Bitcoin, but there's a couple of things pointing towards us maybe going sideways and having a bit of a little grind here before going up and what's telling us this well for one you have this level up here which is a very significant level at fifty thousand dollars as i said but also if we go to the um, wedge here you can see that this rising wedge is actually right now breaking down now you can draw this in a couple of different ways you can draw it from the bodies of the candles like that and they try to fit the, the, this bounce here so do 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 off of the red line here but nonetheless this is the structure of the rising wedge and this is usually a bearish pattern and you can see that yes we are indeed closing a couple of four hourly candles below the rising wedge here so yeah the technical target i would say is actually down to the forty two thousand dollar level I mean, uh, usually you come down to the bottom of the wedge, but this is all the way down at $37,000. And as you know, I do believe that the $42,000 uh, level is going to be strong support. So I wouldn't, uh, you know, bet on us going any lower than the red line here if we continue to go down here. So that's one thing. Also, we're seeing a bit of a divergence here on the RSI. So you can see that we make uh, higher highs here as we're making this wedge. And then we're making lower highs on the RSI. But uh, I mean, this is already played in, I guess, with the, with the breakdown of the rising wedge here. So this is reinforcing the thesis that we are going to go sideways for a bit here and maybe go down a little bit before having that second push into the previous all time highs and uh, just crush it for the rest of this bull run. So I just want to reiterate, still extremely bullish, still extremely bullish, but within an extremely bullish trend, you're always going to have some uh, smaller corrections. You're always going to have periods in which the charts are pointing towards a short term correction before continuing higher. So this is what I'm telling you. I do think that we are going to see some turbulence here, but we are going to continue to the upside eventually. And guys, before we talk about Ethereum and Cardano and altcoins in general, if you want to claim your $1,200 bonus on Femex, make sure to use this link right here. And also, if you want to claim your $1,610 bonus over on Bybit, then make sure to use this link right here. So let's continue and let's talk about Ethereum. And Ethereum is really having a lot of trouble breaking through the orange box here. So you can see that we're having a little bit of a grind here. I guess what's positive is that we're having a grind and I'm actually going to change color here. So I want to make this maybe white. Okay, there we go. So you can see that we're going up and then we're having a little bit of a correction forming these small little patterns. 
going up, going down, going up, having corrections. And this is what Ethereum has been telling us. And I do believe that we might very well continue here, but eventually this orange box, because make no mistake, what's holding down Ethereum right now, in my opinion, is actually the orange box here. You can see that we've been trying to get into, try to break above it, but we've just been getting small rejections, but we have been making higher lows here. So this is a very good sign that eventually we are going to break the orange box here, in which case I do believe that we are going to have a rather quick pump up to the $4,000 level. So that is what I'm anticipating for Ethereum. And you can see that, yeah, we do have the support level here at $3,000 as well. If we are to go down here a bit, I think that this is going to be a good level to gather some more momentum and then continue to the upside. So as you hear, I am bullish on most things right now in crypto. So for Cardano, you can see this. And what do we have on Cardano? Well, we have a bit of a formation forming here right at the top of this uh, Cardano trend here. So on the four hourly time frame, we have that. And then from the bodies of the candles, we have that. So this gives us a little bit of a descending uh, triangle. So this is usually a bearish sign. So descending triangle, Bitcoin is pushing down, or sorry, Cardano is being pushed down here on the top while making equal lows. So that usually uh, leads into a little bit of a uh, breakdown from the triangle. But you have support here at $2, you have support at $1.84 as well. And then you have massive support here down at $1.50. Of course, this does not have to break to the downside, but on the balance of probabilities, they usually break to the downside. But uh, again, even if we do see Bitcoin break down here and Cardano is also most likely then going to break down from this pattern right here, I do believe it's just going to be a little bit of a detour before making a new all-time highs here. And speaking of all-time highs, altcoins continue to do very well and uh, we are broken down from this formation and we are approaching uh, lower levels here. So I am, as I said yesterday, uh, researching a lot of altcoins right now and I'm going to talk about three of them today. So later on today, I'm going to release a video on three altcoins that I am buying right now. So make sure to subscribe and activate the bell if you want to get the latest regarding that. So I also want to talk about traditional markets, guys. So traditional markets right now are close to an all-time high still, but today in particular, we are having a little bit of a correction, but this is not affecting the crypto markets that much. So that's cool to see. And uh, also we have to notice that uh, right before this small little correction here, we did have massive pumps in the markets anyway. So, I mean, still looking good for traditional markets, still looking good for crypto markets as well. So I want to talk about this chart, guys. So what can we see? Well, we can see the same type of wedge, which I uh, showed you just a little while ago, but we have four moving averages here. So you have the yellow line here, kind of hard to see, but this is the daily 200 daily moving average. You have also the red line, which is the daily 50 day moving average. And then you have the blue line, which is actually the four hourly 50 moving average and the orange, which is the four hourly 200 moving average. And I mean, what I want to show you right now is that you can see that we recently had a cross here where the four hourly 200 moving average crossed the daily 50 day moving average. Okay. So the orange four hourly 200 moving average crossed the daily 50 moving average. So right here. And right now we also are seeing the four hourly 50 moving average cross the daily 200 moving average. So you can see the blue crossing the yellow line right here. So why is this significant? Well, um, here's the thing. If we go back in history, you can see that we've had the same kind of formation previously and uh, pay attention to this. So the orange line uh, crossing the red line and then thereafter the blue line crossing the yellow. Okay. So let's go back to the beginning of 2020. And what you can see right here is first the uh, orange line crossing the red one right here, and then the blue one crossing the yellow right here. So this did lead into the massive bull run we are in currently. So this went, uh, this actually took place at uh, $8,000 approximately, uh, somewhere along there, 8,500. And then we, uh, you know, we saw the massive bull run of 2020 and 2021. Now this could be nothing. Maybe this is not significant at all, 
but you're seeing the same kind of sequence and things are looking pretty, pretty similar here. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out. It's just something you could pay attention to if you want to. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.